Three years of army service done, and I was heading home. I got to thinking about my dog and things long gone and past. Old Tyg pulled me from the creek when I had no pulse or breath. Now he saved me from the charging bull that gored my dad to death. As a kid, I dream of bears and tremble to my toes. Till old Tyg would come up to my bed and nudge me gently with his nose. And then my fears would melt away, and Tyg would go lie down, and I'd drift on back to sleep without another sound. The big bus stopped, and I got off. It was awful dark and thick with fog. Then something gently nuzzled me, and there stood Tyg, my dog. I wondered if my faithful dog had met the bus each day and all the dreary winter nights since I'd been away. To have Tyg meet me here like this, I was really glad. Cause I hadn't needed Tyg so much since the day they buried Dad. But two long miles still lie ahead. But what I didn't know was a giant dam was being built where the old road used to go. And I thanked the Lord for sending Tyg, and I followed where he led. Knowing well, without his help, I'd be good as dead. Tyg inched along this way and that, going rough and slow. I could hear the water lapping at the ledges far below. Then, through the mist, I saw light and mother in her chair. I reached down to pat old Tyg, but he wasn't there. I'm thankful, Mom, you had Tyg these lonely years. I owe my life to him tonight. I couldn't help my tears. You say you wrote me about the dam. Well, God was sure with us, because I didn't get your letter, Mom. But old Tyg met the bus. I hate to tell you, son, but now you've got to know. When you left, it broke his heart. Tyg died three years ago.